because when in this whole process of our struggle, I have realized that women must be able to uh, de- achieve an uh, active role in political power. They must be able to reach in the positions where they can exercise political power. And it's very important. You see, if we will remain powerless. We may be doing 101 development projects, programs, this, that, that we are involved in. But unless women fight for political rights and are actively you know, uh, involved in the whole political processes, I think women will not achieve what they would like to achieve. And women would not be able to um, frame the laws as they would like the laws to be to deliver justice to men and women both. I'm not saying the women should become powerful enough to just get what they want, but to be able to do justice to society and human being, humanity as such. So I think it's a very encouraging thing in India that a lot of women are getting in, actively involved in politics. It's not an easy thing uh, because a uh, lot of obstacles are there. Uh, you have family responsibility, you have responsibility of your child, expectations and role models are different for a woman. So when woman enters politics, she has to really struggle, start her struggle from home, from family to society. Uh, but uh, there are many more women who are coming out and I think it's a very happy sign. After they protested outside Parliament, they want the they want uh, Parliament to pass the Women's Reservation Bill, another bill that's been pending for uh, several years now. Women's rights activists participating in the penultimate.
एमेंसिपेशन बिल धीरे धीरे सारी इंडियन महिलाओं की मांग होती जा रही है भारतीय महिलाओं की मांग होती जा रही है और हर सेक्शन की महिला अब ये समझती है कि वुमेन रिजर्वेशन बिल के पैसेज होना प्यारी होना क्यों जरूरी है इस सिलसिले में अभी हम स्टेट लेवल कंसल्टेशन करके आए हैं कलकत्ता में और वहाँ पे सारी महिलाएं स्टूडेंट्स आए थे राष्ट्रीय लेवल वर्कर्स आए थे और हमारे पी आर आई मेम्बर्स आए थे सब ने ये फील किया कि वुमेन रिजर्वेशन बिल को पारित होना तो हर महिला के लिए कितना जरूरी है Prior to the 2019 general elections, we brought out the Women's Charter and the Women Manifesto as part of the National Alliance for Passage of the Women's Reservation Bill. The Women Manifesto basically contains 11 demands of women all over India. The Women Manifesto was drafted in consultation with all the major women's groups in India, and it contains 11 points on which there is consensus. So, for example, increase in gender budgeting for women's issues. Uh, equality in of laws for women gender mainstreaming and passage of the women's reservation bill after drafting the women manifesto we held a press conference and thereafter we physically handed over copies of the same to representatives of all the major political parties in india we went to parliament and we met leaders such as jaya bachchan we met uh, dr d raja and uh, representatives of the bjp the congress and the aam aadmi party and handed over copies of the women manifesto and they all assured us that they supported passage of the wrd The biggest challenge of 21st century is to get women in leadership positions. We have struggled for their rights, for gender equality, for women's empowerment. All the work in the field of economic empowerment, social empowerment, uh, also fighting against violence against women has been on for almost over four decades. But what is important is to get all this into a quantum jump. into a level where women can exercise their right as leaders 
they can participate at every level of decision making. When in uh, Beijing in 1995 we reviewed it, we realized that women are not even 10 percent. But globally women have moved. Now it is over 27 percent that women are in leadership positions. So that means almost we are reaching one third. But unfortunately in India, we are not thinking about giving women a leadership position. The bill which is pending for almost 27 years now is something which would have given really women an opportunity to get elected, to be part of the decision making at the state and national level parliament. Unfortunately, it is not happening and that has been the struggle. And it's, in a way, it's my personal call of my conscience that I want to see and that's the reason why from Beijing, from Nairobi to now, you know, I've been really promoting this cause with my team in Center for Social Research, with larger alliance of women's organizations, with Women Power Connect, which has 1900 organizations and members. These large frameworks of organizations coming together and fighting across the country because we are of the conviction that women in power will change the nature of power. Women in power will change the way women are perceived in our society and their status will really, really change.